Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I know what we're watching next. <laughs> All right, in case this ends up being another video or a different video. Hello, YouTube. This is Jojo the Story. We're going to watch uh, some videos. <laughs> If you like my content, please like, comment, subscribe, etc. Grab some snackies, grab some bevies, let me know what you're eating below. And uh, let's watch this thing, which I am so excited for. Uh, anyway, we're going to watch some Internet Historian. Uh, I'm excited for this one specifically. Okay. Copyright disclaimer. Let's get going. <laughs> I was here. <laughs> I was on the ground. You call yourself Christmas? Oh, I'm really Christmas. 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 You are fucking scum. Stop. 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 I literally am gonna die. I need an ambulance. Shower. I'm triggered. I get in the car. I'm triggered. Independence Day Wars. <laughs> it began with a Tumblr post. Oh, a declaration here we go. of war that read, Join us on July 4th to celebrate our freedom and independence from racists by shutting down. Why are you buffering? Oh, someone's at my door. Who's at my door? That's not what I wanted to do. My phone went off. Not my phone. My whatever. Okay. I panic. Someone's at my door. It began with a Tumblr post, a declaration of war that read, Join us on July 4th to celebrate our freedom and independence from racists by shutting down 4chan. The post spread, and soon Tumblr's army was preparing for war. Listen, I have been on both of those fucking sites, and it is wild to me that somebody on Tumblr of all damn things was like, we're going to take on 4chan and win somehow. Like, truly believed that. Truly believed that. I've been on both those sites. I the Wild. Hey, Bash. First, let's examine these two states. Tumblr. They are one of the world's largest online armies. They are over 300 million blogs strong. And 4chan is... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Look at this guy. <laughs> To be fair, this was pre-Tumblr being bought, so this was like Tumblr being peak, quote-unquote, Tumblr, right? So it was like, there was still porn on Tumblr at this point. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. When, when Tumblr got bought out, everyone that was posting art on Tumblr had to go somewhere else, and they went to Twitter. Which is why Twitter's still like a no man's land of like you still there's still porn on Twitter. That is the only reason I've I've decided that people still stay like fandom related still are on Twitter. Cause there's nowhere else for them to go. So like <laughs> this is okay. Very definitely a wolf. <laughs> Both sides are pretty retarded. Oh, I don't like that word. Soon the fourth of July had arrived. As you can see here on this official map. Tumblr's infantry quickly <laughs> penetrated 4chan's territory. But Tumblr's Dispatula. posts all across the B and Pole boards. Puppies, selfies, and feminist memes sprung up everywhere. 4chan ain't the place, babies. We're going to win this against the 4chan. Wow, that you have that thought. Extremely ineffective. Yep. After less than an hour, Tumblr decided to retreat. Yep. But this was by no means the end of the conflict. Tumblr had kicked the hornet's nest. Yep. B was roused and ready for a fight. En masse, they headed straight for Tumblr's home base. There's yep. been 4chan attacks. Uh-huh. Porn, gore, and anti-feminist memes were spread across some of the more popular tags. Basically, they can't go on any tag because every tag is basically filled with gore. So, what's amusing to me is, like... I, I live my life in fandom circles in such that are curated to me in such a way that every time there's drama, I will see, I will be under, I will be aware that there's drama going on. Something, I'll just feel it. I'll be like, mm, this post is, this vague post makes me feel like there's drama happening in this fandom that I'm in. 
But like, fuck me if I know what's happening. Like, I literally, I have no idea what's happening, right? Because I don't follow stuff that's like drama heavy. Like, I don't follow specific creators or whatever that are are drama heavy. So I never know what the fuck is going on. I'm just in my little, like, happy little corner, like, retweeting my little, like, fan art likes and stuff. Like, just quietly enjoying whatever fandom I'm in while, like, there is a war happening on the other side of the room. Like, <laughs> so, like, I was on both these websites when all this shit was happening and had no idea it was happening. <laughs> like, I was didn't notice any of the shit go down. Unprepared Tumblr users were being triggered from every direction. Starting to get really pissed off with these 4chan idiots. It's not fun. It's actually pretty serious. All right, gather round. It's time for a lesson on what not to do if you get raided. Lesson one, don't spam the tags with your own selfies. Some yeah. Some people thought they could compete with the spamming posts by submitting their own selfies over and over again. They soon found that 4chan seized these selfies, shot them into hardcore porn, yep. and then spammed them back onto the tag in greater yep. number. Yep. Lesson two, don't delete system 32. Great. <laughs> someone pretending to be a Tumblr user posted this infographic. A reported Jesus 41 computers Christ. were bricked. Oh, no. Lesson three. Don't start a petition. Oh, Lord. Someone created a petition on change.org to get 4chan shut down and managed to get about 900 signatures. So, Bro. in response, 4chan made their own petition. It managed to get about 10 times as many signatures. Yep. The only thing you can do, really, is log off and wait for it to be over. Yep. The trouble is... It took Tumblr two days to figure this out. In the meanwhile, casualties were enormous. 40 plus hours of wasted time, 500 hurt feelings, and literally thousands of triggerings. But before we close the history books on this event, it's time to look at one more thing. A conspiracy. Oh, here it we go. It is now widely believed that Pole was behind the original Tumblr post that called for war. Oh my god. The conspiracy goes something like this. Trick Tumblr into provoking B, have the two of them war it out, and sit back and watch the fireworks. Happy 4th of July. Your parents would be very ashamed. I'm also <laughs> So once again, I, I was on both of those websites at the time. I don't, but I don't interact with B or Pole. I I interact with CGL, which is they've cracked down on 4chan related stuff a lot, like really hard. But like, so I was on CGL, which is like the Gothic Lolita and Elegant Lolita and Cosplay Board. So that's the board I'm on. Sometimes I'll wander over to the anime board. Okay, I don't fucking interact with anybody. What are you talking about? Like. I'm very, like, this is the most interaction I have with people. Basically. I don't talk to people. I've talked before about how I have a hard time playing MMOs because I legitimately cannot make friends in online games. Because I don't fucking talk to anybody. But it was the similar situation, right? Where, like, I'm looking at, you know, cosplay-related posts. I'm looking at, like, cosplay shopping related posts like all this other stuff like convention posts and stuff and like there's this whole war happening with tumblr on the other side of the platform that i just ha i'm not aware of and i'm on tumblr and i'm just like reblogging my random little tumblr things and there's this war happening that i'm not aware of hi i'm uh very much just not aware of basically anything that's ever happening at any given time.